Hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Jenkins tutorial. So today in this video, we'll see how to send an email notification from Jenkins. So we have created so many projects in Jenkins. So, so for each project, if the run is failure a uh, success, right? So build is stable or unstable, we have to get notified through the email, right? So that's what we are going to see this video. For doing this one, so you can go to Jenkins. In the Jenkins, when you go to the manage Jenkins, so for this one, we don't want to add any, uh, I mean, any plugins, okay, any third part, any uh, additional plugins. So this is a feature that come uh, default from the Jenkins. So once you come to manage Jenkins, you can go to the configure system. Okay, so this doesn't, I mean, uh, need any, uh, any other additional plugin. Okay, this has come out of your default uh, Jenkins. Okay, you just go to the Jenkins uh, configure, configure system. Okay, so once you are here, just scroll down. So you will find option called email notification. Okay, so simply scroll down. So yeah, so here you can see this is the email notification. This is this will come default, guys. You don't want to add any plugins. Okay, so here you can see. So in our case, we are using the Gmail SMTP server. So as per I mean, uh, your wish, like if you want to use Yahoo Mail or Outlook, anything you can use. So this uh, SMTP server, already we have discussed in the previous video, you can go on and, and check the look, I mean, uh, check the available SMTP servers. So for our case, uh, we are using the default one, which is a Gmail server, okay? So if you have any uh, email subjects, you can add it here, otherwise you can ignore that one. So click on this advanced button. So once you click on this one, please uh, check this uh, use SMTP authentication, okay? So from here, we have to give our email and password. I mean, the Gmail account user details, right? So this is my Gmail account, I'm using it. And this is my password, okay? So after this, uh, check this SSL option, okay? So this port will will be automatically, I mean, uh, by default port is uh, 465, okay? So when you click on this tab here, you can see whether or not to use SSL connection to SMTP server, default port is 465, okay? So that is a port that we are using this one, 465. So after this, we don't want to do anything. Okay, so now the setup is done. You have to come to the configuration, select the SMTP server that you want. So in, in our case, we are using the Gmail account. Okay, so that's the reason I have given us smtp.gmail.com. And this is my email ID, username, and this is my password. Okay, after that, make sure you have checked this SSL connection. So by default port for SSL, it is 465. Okay, so after done this, like we want to check the, I mean, uh, we want to make sure that connection is happening or not, right? The mail is uh, sending out to my Gmail or not, right? So for this one, you can check this, I mean, you can check this box, which is test configuration by sending the test email, okay? So when you click on this one, so here you will get the uh, email uh, recipient. So I will update as my uh, one more email ID. Okay. So this is my one more email ID. What I'm trying to take, so from this email ID, I'm trying to send one email to this account, okay? So when I click on this uh, test configuration button, okay, so now we can see this is failed, right? So this is failed due to uh, the privacy setting, right? The security settings. So for enable this one, you have to go to your Google account, okay? So the, I'm into my Google account page. In the Google account, you have to go to the security, right? So this one already we have discussed in our last video, you have to enable this less secure app access. Right, so it was in, uh, I mean, app status. I have to switch on this one. I have to enable this one, right? So when I click on enable, so now this, this is done. Okay, so make sure you have uh, gone to your Google account and you have gone to the security tab. Under security, you will find this option. Okay, now you can see, less secure app access is on. Which means, I mean, I can access this uh, Gmail to the Jenkins. Okay, so when I click on the test configuration now, now we can see, I mean, we will be getting some success message. See, now you can see the email was sent successfully, right? So if I go to my email, so this is an email, right? So here you can see, this is an email that I got from the Jenkins test email, right? So now we are good with the email setup, right? So what we have done, we have uh, come to this configure tab. Under the configure page, we have done all the settings, right? So, and, and we have enabled this uh, less secure app access in the, your Google account, okay? So once this is done, so we are good now. What we can do, uh, we can save and apply. Okay, so now what we can do, we can go to our uh, any projects. Okay, 
okay we'll go to any existing project that we have already created okay so here i will take this uh, okay so i will take this one okay so our last build was uh, uh, 33 what i have to do i have to go to the configure Okay, so here we have to set this email notification uh, under the post build action, right? So once our test is done, our build is executed, we have to get, I mean, email from the Jenkins, right? So if the even um, build is stable or unstable and everything, right? So this is my simple uh, postman collection, which I'm running in my uh, Jenkins, okay? So these are the batch command that I'm using here. So after this, we have post build action, right? So here, what you have to do, you have to add the email plugin. Okay, so once again, so here we call, you will find option called uh, email notification. Yeah, so this is a one email notification, right? So when you click on this one, so here you can see these are the recipients uh, tab. So you can add a number of recipients like you're giving a white space uh, separated list of recipient address. Okay, so I will do one thing. I will update my email ID. Okay, so I have updated my email ID. This is my email ID where I'm expecting any failures to be uh, notified through this email account. Okay, so here you can see option called send the, uh, send the email for every unstable build, right? So this is for sending separate email uh, to individual who broke the bill. I mean, uh, so whenever there is some commit is happening. Okay, so go, so for that, the, for those commit also, if, if it is broken by the commit, then you will get notified through the email. Okay. So for this demo purpose, I have only given the email and I have, I mean, uh, checked on this send email for every unstable build. Okay. So that's all from, uh, I mean, this uh, Jenkins project level configuration, simply click on apply and save. Okay. So now we'll try to execute this build. Okay. So this is obviously is getting failure due to some reason. I will execute this one. Now you can see build number 34 will be generated. Yeah. Now you can see the build number 34 is created. I'll go to console. Okay, so console, I mean, started everything. So this is basically Postman collection. It is started running and we can see the output. Yeah, so here you can see, I mean, uh, due to uh, some assertion, its build is getting as a failure. I mean, build is marked as a failure, right? So here you can see, regarding the test result and sending emails to this QL and together gmail.com. Right. So which means that this is, I mean, sent the email job is done. Okay. So now I'll go to my Gmail account, whether will I see uh, the same, uh, I mean, uh, the results, right? So I got notified through the email or not to my Gmail account. Okay. So now you can see this mail, right? So it is, it came very recently. So when I open this one, so this came from the Jenkins due to my build, I mean, uh, my build failure on the in Jenkins, right? So subject, you can see build a in Jenkins and postman. This is a project name in the Jenkins and what is the build number? Okay. So here you can see all the things that started by, I mean, all the console that you've seen in here, right? So yeah, all the console will be printed in here also, I believe. Yeah. See all the console is printed here, right? So whatever we see in the Jenkins console, the same thing coming in the through email also. Okay. So this is how we have, uh, I mean, set up the, email notification in Jenkins. Okay, the steps to remember, you have to done the configuration, you have to update the configuration like JSON DB server or port number, your email, or sorry, your email account and the password, right? Once you're done, then you can go for a test connection. So when you make the test connection, so some test mail will be generated, I mean, uh, sent to your particular email ID that you have given in the Jenkins. After that, you can go to your particular project and there you can find this, uh, post to build action where you have to update this email notification uh, job. After that, you can give the recipient address and uh, you can run job and you can get notified through the email. Okay. So that's all about this video. Uh, if you guys have any uh, doubt or any question, uh, please feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you guys.